everybody, sir. This is Amanda. We are DD Major and Board Games. So, Peterson Games, evacuate. You want to see what's inside? Stay tuned. So, evacuate. Um, for those of you who do the crowdfunding type things, uh, you'll notice that lately companies have been going and using GameFound to do crowdfunding. Uh, recently, they did Evac and two other games that you could get. I picked up Evac and one of the other ones because it looked interesting to me. And I wanted to see how the system worked. And it, I was actually pretty impressed. They, they, you don't get as much uh, information <laughs> like when is it going to come out the, um, as opposed to like Kickstarter. But then again, Kickstarter, some of their people are not as descriptive anymore. So, let's go into Evacuate. So, it's got it's a small little punchy rule book. And you know what this reminded me of? It kind of reminded me of Argo. Mm. And that's why I kind of was like, oh. Sci-fi. Yeah, it's favorite. A lot of cards, folks. And 40 some miniatures. 48. Alright, nothing's underneath. So, it looks like the miniatures are all the same, they're just a different color. So, we'll pull out what? Figure the black one. I'm surprised you dig into the miniature right away. Well, you know, what the heck. You know, it looks like the. The, from Mars Attacks. <laughs> meep, meep. Yes. And uh, you have the evac ready. I'm assuming this is some type of tracker. Which one? This Let's one. See. Evacuation transport. Oh, evacuation transport. Okay. And then you have some uh, cards here. Let's see. So these are the station deck. So you have uh, maintenance access, narrow passageway. This kind of reminds me of uh, what was that game called? Solar Solar Storm. Mm. You remember you had the different. Uh, but we won. I remember that. That was a good game. Yeah, we've lost in that game a lot too. A lot too. <laughs> yeah, it's really. Yeah, be fast. Mm. Make sure. You save your stations. Oh, it's got a start card. So that's 34? Is that the civilization cards? This is the station deck. Oh, 17. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some counters here. Well, I don't know why I'm getting the knife out, but apparently they just look like they come out. Okay. They say they come out. You know what? Let's just do it the easy way. Okay. You have a first player token in here. I wonder if that's what Stanley goes yes, on or if it's the tokens. arrow that the... Wow, they just, they're just falling right out, folks. Man, those are well. some good die cuts there. Let's just stick those up there. So, no hostile. We have the uh, Noma deck. Medical station, survivor. Those are supposed to be thirty eight. Twenty five. It's twenty five. Next. 
We've done some unboxings tonight. <laughs> I think Glenda's getting a little punchy. The, I'm not the, sure. The, the numbers are like jumbled up. Is everything just kind of all looks know, the same? Merging now. together on you mm -hmm. by this point. Yeah, yeah. So we also have the second run, the second neutral run deck. It's two neutral run decks, or what's this here? Voila! Uh, the arrow that you saw is, yeah, so that's the direction arrow token. Is that what the standy thing you go on? This, there is the first player token too. So what's the thing with the creature looking on the back? That would be the gnomic... Oh, these no. are, oh. Creature looking. So... That's, uh... Okay. Is this the, the possible creature we get, or...? Hmm. 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 Huh. Does it say Azota and all that? Borg? Yeah, those. So, those are the 13th first civilization, 4 for Glad Glaza 2. So, 34 cards all together. They're all like mixed up. Okay. So, it's got a, like a run deck and stuff? That's interesting. Okay. 11. So each one of them has two cards in a run deck. Eight cards per deck on the run deck. Okay. And, oh, well there's more here, that's why. That should be your last one. Well, I hope it's the last one because I opened <laughs> all the other ones already. So these are the creatures moving in, or? <laughs> I know, I run out of people, I run out to read in the... Okay. I get the feeling these things eat us. That's just my feeling on it, folks. Uh -huh. You're reading, we have to run. <laughs> Two to five, ages 14 and up. Well, that's we're screwed then. None of us are that mental yet. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of thinking on this game. So, evacuate, folks. Peterson Games. Oh, you thought when you said evacuate, just run, right? Doesn't matter. Run. Run. Well, it's it's got a like I said, it's got that. It seems like it's got that feel of Argo, a little bit, it's and survival. and then you've also got the uh, the way the the map looks and everything, where you may have that where you're at that solar storm gonna, style game, you know, just explode or something, so and you really gotta keep running. And it's all card driven. As always, as always. Support your local game store. We support somebody. Yeah. Discover games. We're at Fayetteville, Georgia. At least I believe they're in Fayetteville. They're supposed to be. They are. You'll see it. It's just there. You ever noticed that? They all come out of the box. But then when you're putting them back... They don't all go back in the box.
Evacuate. Game on, everybody. We're evacuating now. Game on.